Wait, little kitty. Don't touch that electric eel. Well, if the name doesn't give it away, then let me explain by answering a shocking question. What happens if you touch an electric eel? Zoom in! On a chilly autumn evening in 1800, the renowned explorer Alexander von Humboldt stood on the banks of a majestic South American river. There, he witnessed an electrifying sight as a swarm of electric eels emerged from the river and stunned a group of horses with their electric shocks. When he shared his account with others, most people found it hard to believe him at that time. But today, we know that electric eels can actually grow to a massive 8 feet in length and weigh around 44 pounds. They are generally dark green or greyish on top with yellowish colouring underneath. Depending on their size, electric eels are capable of generating an electric charge of up to 600 volts, stunning prey and keeping predators at bay. But how does an electric eel produce electricity? Well, the secret to their shocking talent lies in three abdominal pairs of electric organs that make up most of their long body. The sac's organ, the hunter's organ and the main organ. These organs contain hundreds of thousands of modified muscle cells called electrocytes that act like little batteries. Normally, they pump out special ions to keep a negative charge inside and a positive charge outside. But when the fish's brain sends a special signal through its nervous system, something magical happens. The ion gates of the electrocytes pop open and positively charged ions flow back in. Now, one side of the electrocytes becomes positively charged inside and negatively charged outside, while the other side has the opposite pattern. And here's the cool part. All the cells get the signal at the exact same time like an amazing synchronized dance. This makes the stack of electrocytes act like thousands of batteries in a row. Their tiny charges add up to create a powerful electric field that can travel long distances, even several meters. They use these charges to talk to other eels, find their way in the water and even shock or stun their prey or predator. So, this always makes us wonder what would happen if a curious human touches an electric eel. Well, in that case, it could be quite a shocking experience, literally. Yes. When the electric eel comes into contact with a person, the electrical discharge can travel through the person's body. The consequences of this encounter can cause muscle spasms, intense pain and temporary paralysis in the affected area. If the person is submerged in water during the encounter, the situation can become even more hazardous. The electric shock may cause the person's muscles to contract involuntarily, leading to difficulty in swimming and even potentially resulting in drowning, which can be fatal. Interestingly, while electric eel shocks are powerful and can be dangerous, they are not usually lethal to healthy adults. However, multiple shocks can cause respiratory or even heart failure. And for those with pre-existing medical conditions, the shock can pose a more significant threat. Also, remember my friends, electric eels don't intentionally attack humans. They use their electric shocks as a defense mechanism against threats and predators in their environment. Humans are not their usual prey and they generally prefer to avoid confrontation. So, just like them, we must also maintain a safe distance from them. Trivia time! 
Did you know electric eels are actually not true eels? Yes, they are actually a type of knifefish and belong to the family Electrophoridae. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Satakshi Singh. Hope you learned something shocking today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh no, what are you doing, kitty? Charging my phone. Never mind. <laughs>